Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here today at the right time, because I totally put this video at the right time when I normally release it, unlike yesterday's video where I accidentally forgot to click on, oh, publish. So my apologies guys. Oh, I did forget to do something though before we started though. So, uh, I'll do it in a little bit. So, you guys said, someone said, Hey, Mr. Mocha Lover, remember Mexico? I don't. But do you remember Mexico under Austrian rule? I do. It was Franz Joseph I's brother who was the leader of the Empire of Mexico for a while. And since they are uh, syndicalista peoples, and we, if we ever go to war with the syndicalists, syndicalists uh, I want some Mexican territory. I want to reinstate the Habsburg rule over this boy. I think that would be freaking amazing. So, thank you very much for that suggestion. <clears throat> I think that'd be really, really cool. So, <clears throat> last time I did explain why we couldn't have colonies, but um, I did look into Austri Austrian colonies themselves. Now, Austria historically had like. A colony somewhere here. Is it Ninbar? Mulliken colonies? Maybe. I think that might have been it. They also had North Borneo. So, with that in mind, just to appease some people, I may end up um, totally becoming a little more uh, Bor Borneoese. North Borneoese. So, there you go. We got a colony. Holy crap, that actually fixed. That, that's a lot of rubber. Wow. Wow. Sorry, Deutsch East Aus Deutsch Ost Asian. Um, the Hungar the Austro Hungarians wanted some some of that good old meat down here. We have Jesselton and Sendakon. Oh yeah, and I also have my coffee here because I'm actually pretty tired right now. So um, I don't know if you heard that, but I'm pretty tired. Anyways, uh, let's see. But that's pretty cool. It's a colony state, of course. Uh, let's see, tune economy that'll expire in May 35th. Good. And last time we did take out Hungary, so that was pretty good. I'd say we're pretty successful. So, to appease everyone, we have a colony now. I guess it's technically for me a second colony, because I want to really call this Krem a colony as well. And, yeah, that's time we took out Hungary, and this time we'll see if we can release them, abuse them, because they abused our trust and love. And hopefully this war continues on for the next certain some, num de some days. Uh, let's see, our economy must be ready for such undertakings. Austria and Empire is fully independent, and more than 10% uh, world attention. Cool. And that'll let us create our own faction. Which, actually, I want to do that, because <clears throat> you could, if I pull up the faction map, map, you will be able to see, like, everyone that's under my faction, including the Ukraine. Now, Poland, are you part of my faction? Not yet. You will eventually, though. Hopefully. The re-establishment of a Hungarian state, on equal footing with the other crowns of the Empire, rather than a quasi-independent pseudo-constituent. Why should we liberate those who fought against us? But Hungary will be re-established. This is very important. <coughs> Excuse me. When you want to go with embracing pluralism, which we can do. Yes! Alright, so. Uh, I would like to do this. Oh, that's actually only 14 days. But if, oh, if it has to be raging on our borders. Yeah, honestly, I can't wait for the Austrian rework, just because this... It just happens too quickly, the Romanian Civil War, just for at least for me, for my experience. It just goes on too quickly, and uh, I can't do approaching Romania or this one. So, yeah, there's no bueno. There's no bueno. So, oh well. Regardless, Hungary is back. A bunch of bastards down there under Istvan Bethlen. A bunch of bastards. We don't really like you, which is normal. They have our claim territory. Or they have claim on our territory, and they like us because they're our puppet, you bunch of bastards. Yeah. Uh, wow, daily political power gain negative 0.5 for Slovak pro-independence demonstrations, and then Transylvania has the same one, so they, they lose political power every single day. Wow. Oh, and we did get Bargainland. Proper, appropriate Austrian territory. That's we just made one more factory. So we are looking pretty diverse. We are looking pretty... Culturally diverse. You know, that's your thing, that's your thing. If that's not your thing, then that's not your thing. Oh my god, I forgot that we had things down here. Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot about this. Whoops, sorry guys. Um Yeah, yeah, looks good. Looks good, guys. Let's make sure we get across the river, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, other nine. We're holding out. Lota Rendulik. Totally forgot I was helping out the Carlists. That was, I guess, a side objective that I forgot about. That's okay. As long as we get some army XP. Ooh, ten more army XP. Actually, I need some more manpower. Holy crap. Oof, that's not good. Uh, we're out of that. Also, a cavalry... Cavalry divisions are okay. We need more artillery, so we're going to switch all of our divisions to 20 width, causing a massive deficit of artillery. But we have a much better deficit of infantry guns. So that's good. At least in my opinion. Yeah, if I could get to the next... Oh, no, but I want better mobilization. Oh, I need... Oh, God dang it. Oh, we got better ships. Good. It's almost 1938. I need more manpower. That is unfortunate. Cruisers, armor cruisers, um, I don't really know the naval meta of Kaiser. I know it's a little different, I think, than a base game, Hoi 4. Oh, we need better fighters. I need 1938 tech, though. Ooh, wait. Okay, so we're doing with that stuff. But, uh, there's so much, so many choices to make. It doesn't mean we always have a lot of good choices to do, though. Uh... What if we sent you this way, and then sent you over here? We could theoretically cut all of you guys off. And we have Protector of the Balkans. Uh, we just created our own faction. Oh, we got a bunch of political power, which is awesome. We can't do this, because this Romanian Civil War has to be raging on our borders. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to try to embrace syndicalism. Oh, no, no not going to embrace syndicalism. No, 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 no. The research circle would be good. Uh, ooh, three civilian factors would be actually really decent. Oh, look at all those military factors I could get. But, for us, we are just trying to reu reunite our empire. So, let's go with embrace pluralism, get more political power. Let's go ahead and... Wait, volunteer only. Limited conscription, what? I can't get any more oh, manpower. Oof. Oh, God damn it. Oh, why? Oh wow, we actually lose quite a bit of political power, but that's alright. How much do we get? 0.68. We get more civilian and military factory construction speed, which is good. What is this? No. No. Yeah, can't we can't hire these people because they're not of the right ninth right government type. Well that's garbage. Uh, what about this? One of these yeah, civilian and military factory construction speeds is extremely good. For this, it just helps with land doctrine, which is you know, pretty good, but you don't get any daily XP gains, which really kind of sucks. So, let's go with mo partial mobilization, and then we're just trying to build ourselves up, so. Wait, uh, we well, need Austro Dalmer to do that? No, we don't. We can just use Alpen Montage Gesellschaft. Sorry, Austro Dalmer. Yeah, there's exactly this. Oh, these are just slightly better. Oh, that's why. Austro Dalmer. How long would that take to get Austro Dalmer? Oh, we can expand that. No, ooh. I like that. Army Oberkommando. I, I think, really, realistically, some of these things have to be reworked. Because it just takes a little bit too long. Oh, wait. Some of these are 35 days. Okay, that's better. I feel a little better about that now. Uh, wow. That's quite a few bonuses. 25%. Nothing just gives you a permanent thing, though. Not a permanent national spirit for, like, more manpower. Uh, Skoda... Oh, that takes too long. 140 days to get just to get Oswald Dalmer. That's not worth it, in my opinion. Whatever. That's my opinion, and I know it's right. Cool. Uh, actually, I need you over here. Oh, Italian Republic is doing Dona Adriabund. Yeah, you better have. So, Dona Adriabund. Um, I think you're automatically part of it. The problem with Dona Adriboon is just that it's so white, it blends in with the white-gray color of everyone else. But, I, yeah, there's a definite difference here. You can definitely tell if you look close enough. So as you can tell, Serbia down here, or Albania, Bulgaria, Romania, and Ukraine definitely are not part of this, as well as Poland. Poland, please join my faction. Please become a protector of mine. I would love you so much. And we made helped make a little encirclement here, which is really good, actually. And there goes the Romanian Civil War. Very nice. Time for some coffee from that. Awesome. Good job, guys. Even though we played a very minor to almost non-existent part in that war. Uh, oh, intervention in Romania has passed. Oh, wait. We can approach Romania now. Our interests. Oh, actually. Maybe this is okay, then. Usually I can't do this because of 
stuff like that, but I think we're okay right now. Maybe we'll have to approach Romania. Huh. Go figure. I, I'm wrong. I can be wrong. It's, it's, I know, it's weird. Uh, these guys are starving, so I don't want to attack until they are done starving yet. So let's go ahead and move the cavalry in first. And I want to get the infantry in there as well. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Get the infantry in there. Just so that these Carlists aren't doing super well up here. I want them to have a little bit of green force on it. Uh, well, maybe not. Because I know you're getting attacked. So, good. End of the Romanian Civil War. So, for good or ill, the Romanian War is over now. The general staff have reported that they learned many valuable lessons regarding the nature of modern warfare over the course of the conflict. It's like another Spanish Civil War. And we got 500 more manpower, which is almost nothing for us. Yeah! Uh, can I spend anything? Oh, uh, maybe some XP. Shoots in division... Yeah, this is actually really good for coasts. So I'm going to build two at a time. Oh, Portugal's joining the Entente. Well, okay. Well, that's good for you guys. Cavalry, of course, is good. Motorized. Ooh, Alpine Jaeger. Oh, that's actually pretty good already. 20 combat width. I'm not going to change that, really. I hate militia divisions. They're just so weak. Sorry. They're just not mm, strong enough for me. Let's see. Armor divisions. Yeah, let's we're going to need to change this up. We're gonna need definitely some uh, medium tanks here eventually. Uh, that's as best as we can do for that without causing too much of an issue. Uh, let's see, horses, horses. Help them out here. I don't want to see these guys die, and you might as well help out as well since they're star they're literally starving for supplies. This will definitely help the Carlists out. Maybe give them. Yeah, they already forced attack. That is bueno. I don't get that word in Spain, and I said bueno. Oh god, that was terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe we'll do approaching Romania. Maybe they'll join our faction. That'd be really cool, actually. How's our main army doing? Uh, you're guarding Serbia. Sounds about right. Sounds exactly right. What are the Germans up to? Germans are up to restoring the Bundesrat. Alright. Not sure what the Bundesrat is, but, you know, good luck. Good. We're doing well. Doing very well. Uh, the Mongolian Khan declared war on the Shangqing Xiangjigo. No, okay, they're pretty thick, and this area is pretty small. Actually, I was considering, I did take North Borneo, like I said earlier. It doesn't have that much manpower, but it does have a lot of rubber, which is really nice. So we're pretty good on rubber. We need to probably lower our uh, trade so we get more of our own resources. But I was con considering for me to take Qingdao, because we did, I think, have a little, like, building here, but Germany had more buildings than us in this little Chinese province, so I'm like... It's probably not the best place for me to take. Way high. Which us Asian. Ningbo. Uh, uh, CMN. Macau. Hong Kong. Hmm, yeah. So I don't know my Chinese cities that well. Alright, so do we take... Oh, we did! We did a great job at dis helping destroy three, three to four enemy divisions. So that was actually really impressive. Now, I really want to just focus on the defense because, yeah, we're out of manpower. That's not really good for us. So, anywhere they attack, we got to make sure we meet them in strength. Oh, wow. Looks like, looks like you guys can do good enough without us up here, except you're moving divisions around, so never mind. So, never mind. Please attack me here, so I can get some more army XP, even though we can't really do very much. And time for coffee. Uh, actually. Oh, good. Radio, radio detection is done. Let's make sure our Carlist volunteers get the best goods first, just because they're actually in the middle of combat. Or they will be soon. Oh, Alamut, newest book of Vladimir Bartol. The Slovenes are one of the lesser talked about minorities of our empire, though even after hundreds of years of being part of it, they stuck to their own language and culture. Bunch of bastards. They should become Austrians. The newest bestseller in the Slovene-speaking territories, written by Bartol, is a story of Turkish and Persian struggles to control the fortress of Alamut. The action is set in the 11th century, when Seljuk Turks began expanding into Asia Minor. It is suspected that the book will be translated into German and various other languages soon enough. Toll! If you don't know what Toll means, I believe that means great in German, so... Ooh, are they getting attacked? I can't really leave my position without causing too much of a hubbub. Hmm... Hmm. Let's take a quick look here, guys. This is the Pretender guy, Kingdom of Spain. This guy in the coma. 
Uh, a lot of manpower. A few divisions. Uh, the CNT FAI has way less manpower and probably a little more divisions. And then the Carlists have way less divisions and a little bit of manpower. Good luck, Carlists. Oh, did we win here or something? Hmm. Oh, wait. Is that a French here? Oh, this is the Commonwealth of Canada's here. As well as the French Republic has decided to show up. All right. Oh, and the Union of Britain here is helping the CNT FAI. Come on, is this done yet? Come on. Oh, we're with three civilian factories. Nice. Uh, let's see. 70 would be nice. Ooh, 90. 70, 60. Hmm. Well, we definitely need that. And then I'll do something like this. Because why not? We're here for a good time, are we not? Ah, oh, yes. And the National Protection Alliance declared war on Qing. They cannot get a break. Oh, Russia announces her ambitions. Ooh. Uh, they announced their territorial ambitions and claimed almost all the territory of the former Russian Empire. Oh, oh. They would guess what? With expansionism, what the heck? Oh, uh, the Russian Empire. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Well, the Italians seek to join our alliance. Uh, many in Vienna have suggested we let them do so, though there are also voices that suggest otherwise. We don't need them. I say, why not? Let them join. Even though I think they already joined our alliance. Uh, Ukraine. Oh, Ottoman Empire's in trouble. Force rotation. Oh, God. If we go to war with Russia, this is not going to be good. Support from Russia. Germany is busy. Demand concessions. Baku oil fields. Yeah. Do this. Caucus direction. Don't do European direction. Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not good for anybody. Let's see, 1938, so we're doing this. We could get this, but let's get some infantry stuff first. Yeah, are you actually justifying on the Ukraine? I mean, it's a caucus decision. Rec no! I didn't give you permission to do this, Ukraine! You should not recognize Russian! No! No! Get out of here! Oh, they get a lot of stability from that, though. Rebellion in Yemen, Eastern Free Trade Area, Cro Crisis in the Coalition. The settlement would have been better. Succession question. Explosion on the Nibber. Yeah, I don't see how Russia is actually justifying on them. I mean, they get negative opinions, and Germany gets a report from Russia. Romania has joined the Belgrade Pact. Um, uh oh. Well, that's not good. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. Hmm. That is probably not good for Bulgaria. I might be able to help Bulgaria out, though, if uh, something might happen. Actually, I'm going to combine you guys into one army, so sorry about that, guys, to the other general. Just because, oh, we embrace pluralism. And, uh, we might find a way to strike into enemy territory. So, if Romania and Serbia declare war on Bulgaria... I may be able to quickly maneuver myself into Serbia and Romania, and then thusly Greece as well. Now, that would be one hell of a move to do. Let's see. Theorists. Theorists would be good. Oh, we can produce more infantry guns and support equipment if we do this and get more soft attack. Hmm. Hmm. At this point, I don't need more guns, any more artillery, though. Hmm, artillery manufacturer, artillery manufacturer. That's all the artillery manufacturing we get. We get more defense and soft attack, and soft attack and breakthroughs. That's a lot of soft attack. That's pretty much it. Does anyone here, you sometimes one of these guys gives you an ability to get like 0.5% more manpower? I would really like 0.5% more manpower. Oh, we can produce more artillery with this guy, attack and defense. Oh, but we get more recruitable population. Oh, no. Oh, no. What to do? What to do? Well, we only have 10.65 million people in our military. So we really wouldn't get... Or in the population, I mean. We wouldn't really get too much more manpower. All we really need is more artillery, which is extremely good. But I can't do very much. I mean, we get a bonus anyways. Artillery attack and defense is good and all. But I need more manpower. And we can already get more artillery stuff under tank designer. Oh, Let's just get more manpower, because it helps our infantry divisions regardless. 
So would you like the guy named Wilhelm Zender more or Eugene Bayer? I think I like Eugene. I don't know of that many people named Eugene, so we're going to go with Eugene. Uh, let's see. That'd be nice. Approaching Albania. Uh, I really want to do a Federation of Equals, though. So we'll lose political power and we'll lose consumer goods, but only takes 35 days. It's not bad. So the United States of Greater Austria, or the Vereinigte Staaten von Groß Österreich, was a proposal conceived by a group of scholars surrounding Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. This specific proposal was conceived by the lawyer and politician R. L. Popovici in 1906 and aimed at federalizing Austria-Hungary to help resolve widespread ethnic and nationalist tensions. Cool. That only takes 35 days. I like it. And the Mastriki Kingdom is gone. Well, it looks like the Ottoman Empire is not doing too bad yet. <gasps> Belgrade Conference argues for a new order on the Balkans. On the initiative of Serbia, several countries have convened in Belgrade to discuss the political and military situation on the Balkans. Time for coffee first. During this Congress, a new military alliance was founded, the so-called Belgrade Pact. This is clearly aimed at our former ally, Bulgaria, of whom the countries have lost territory in the Velt Creek. If we openly announce our support for Bulgaria, it may keep the Belgrade Pact from declaring war on them. Well, then, if, let's see, announce our support, or we must avoid, no, I'm not doing that, I need political power. If we go to war with Bulgaria against the Romanians and Serbians, then I can go to war economy, which would be cool. But really, what I want to do is go from limited conscription to extensive conscription because we have to be at war. And I'm really close to having enough political power for that. So, baby, I'm going to support those boys down in Bulgaria. Oh, wait, but the Russians are still justifying on us. Oh, no. Hmm. That's not good. I really don't want to give up the Ukraine if that means... Oh, oh, a visit from Liechtenstein. We have received a state visit from the Principality of Liechtenstein. They are the final remnant of the Holy Roman Empire, and due to its unique geographic location, has survived up to now. Since 1818, they have been under our protection, first through our leadership of the German Confederation, and later through bilateral treaties. Prince Franz has stepped down from the throne and named his 31-year-old cousin, his first cousin to be exact, twice removed as regent. Or regnant. To celebrate the occasion, they have brought us gifts and good wishes. In turn, we have given the new prince gifts and wished him a long and happy reign. Ah, don't you love relations? <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. Uh, export focus? Yeah, we really need to probably go to limited exports. But, I want to see what's going to happen here first. How did the Serbians and Romanians react? A Slavic Federation. Hmm. A Slavic Federation... Statute of Montenegro. Illyria gets... Oh. We're going to have problems with Serbia. I can already tell. Yeah, we're definitely going to have problems with them. What is Romania up to? Submarine warfare. So I'm not really interested in that. Uh, Russia, for the love of God, please don't go to war with Ukraine. <sighs> oh. Schwere Schlagschiff 1. Cool. Let's see. I don't know. I've, I've, I've heavily ignored... Spain, but yeah, they don't really need my help at the moment. Not like we can do a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, there's not really much going on here at all. I mean, oh, I see a hole here though, which is not good. Let's see what happens when we do that. Yeah, we need more artillery guns. Uh, yep, definitely, most definitely. Oh, that really hurts our steel and tungsten. Oh, but, oh god. What about this? Legislate freedom, support the USA or the AUS. We'll end up losing infantry guns, which is fine. 2,000 of them, so which we barely have. It looks like the American Union States are doing pretty well, so we're going to support them. Guatemala's joined the Revolutionary Front. Um, Alright, interesting. Central Americans are going to become socialist revolutionaries or syndicalists or something stupid like that. Ooh. Did we just make another factory look like? 54? Good. Ooh. Tasty. Alright. A federation of equals is almost done. We'll lose political power and more consumer goods, but that's definitely okay with me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're... I could use more steel, so I need to go ahead and lower this. From export focus to limited exports. Because we get more political power anyways. So now we got more resources to work with. Good. A little more resources, at least. 
So Poland is looking for protection, apparently. So with the recent election of Karol Obrecht Habsburg Lothringen, Poland has been inching ever closer into our sphere of influence. This has accumulated in their interest in joining our new military alliance as a member state, seeking our protection from outside threats. We don't need those weaklings. Good. Oh, we're going to lose a little bit of political power. But, actually, that would make us even stronger if those bastards called Russians, not Hungarians this time, decided to go to war with us. Together, united, we are stronger. Good. Very good. A federation of equals. Good. More political power. So, how long would it take for us to do this next one? Decentralized development scheme. What is this? Importing the autonomies. Does not have the national spirit rethinking our administration. Oh, we just got that. So it will be removed in a year. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it really sucks. So we have to wait a year before we can do this. That's okay. We'll get this, which you can get more construction speed, which is good. And which gives it to our uh, puppets as well. It takes 56 days. This takes 70. Construction speed? Well, I mean, we're trying to build up stuff all the time. So help everybody. I like helping everybody. Especially if it will ultimately benefit me. Uh... Approaching Albania. What about military stuff? Is there anything here that could give us more manpower? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, not really anything. I want to say I want to approach Albania. Oh, but we get more civilian factories. But Albania is 35 days. That actually might help. They might. We might be able to pull them into a uh, alliance with them. And that would really solidify a lot more control and give us actual access to Bulgaria if they get attacked by Serbia, Romania, or Greece. Serb Slavics, sub warfare, reverse secularization. What are you guys up to? They don't really like us very much. Oh, reverse secularization. All right, well, more stability, but more daily political power costs. Sponsors, school, church schools. Hmm. Get a little bit more water. Nicaragua declared war on El Salvador, and Argentina was annexed. All right. Russia, please. Please don't go to war, please. El Salvador is gone. Yep, and uh, the Revolutionary Front has succeeded. Wow. Declaration of the Argentine Commune. Well, then. <sighs> what a shame. Oh. Huh. I wouldn't say that's not waifu material, but is that waifu material? I don't know. Let's see what happens. And then Xing, Xiang Qing Tiang Guo has been annexed. Man, have you been following the Kaiserreich subreddit? There's every there's a minor Monday every Monday, obviously, but it's like all Chinese. It's like kind of confusing to be honest. It's kind of interesting, but also kind of confusing. It's so good though that they're de dedicating so much time to even just a, or, you know a regional conflict, which really does affect the rest of the world, but. Just very interesting to see what the devs are doing with this. And it's really kind of pleasing me. I really like, really like this, this mod, to be honest. Because the devs are just so supportive. Alright. There's not really much else we can do right now. I definitely want to do this. I want to see... Okay, so Russia, what are you up to? You finished? Okay, so good. Leave the Ukraine alone, you bunch of bastards. You know, honestly, the Don... The Don... The Don Kuban Union looks really kind of thick, to be honest. It looks maybe a little thicker than I'm used to. Huh. I don't know. <gasps> Approach Albania. So, our, the Principality of Albania was left under Austrian influence after the Velt Creek, but our delegation was forced to abscond due to internal problems. Now, however, we are ready to resume our earlier contact. Let's see what they say first. Approaching Greece. Borders our national influence has not nationalized our investments. Ooh. Oh well. Uh, let's do this so we can build things a little bit faster next. Come on, Albania. Come on, Albania. Dutch Revolution. That's not Albania. Oh, that's a nasty blue. Who the hell are you? David Vinge Group. The uh, SDAP. SDAP. Question. God dang it, Albania. Avni Rustem. He has let us know that this country have no interest in our offer of protection. Well then. So, uh, they... Oh, that's not good. Mm, that's good and bad at the same time. And... Oh, that's not good. Acceptance of that stuff. Oh, and it went bye-bye. The S-step question. Look, new assembly. Well, Germany, that is definitely not good for you. More syndicalists literally on your borders. Not good. Sorry. What the hell? Sorry. Okay. 
Okay. It looks like the Ottomans are actually winning this war here. They took out Saudi Arabia. Now they'll have more divisions. There's quite a few Iranian divisions. Look like they're encircled. Oh, maybe not anymore. Maybe up here, but not over here. And no longer get the effects of tuned economy. That's disappointing. But I guess whatever. You get one from trade. That's good. Ah, gotta love it. And we get 654 more manpower. Serbia, please. Please do something. Oh, you are doing something, Serbia. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Anti-submarine warfare, well-trained officers. You have not a bunch of manpower. Serbia has less. Romania has quite a bit more. And Greece has less. What is this? Austrian sanctions. Yeah, you better get those Austrian sanctions, you bunch of bastards. Oh, what do we... Oh, I got freaking encircled. God dang, I keep forgetting to pay attention to this. Um... Uh, the Bulgarian government seeking the gathered forces of the Belgrade Pact on their borders have agreed to an ultimatum to hand over all their disputed territories uh, effective immediately. While this greatly reduces Bulgaria's territory, they will remain independent for now. Another war in the Balkans has been averted. Uh, why? Bulgaria, why? I just want to kind of go to war with them at this point. We need world tension to be at 75%. Come on, Bulgaria, grow a pair. Come on. Hold on. Uh, you know what? We'll pause here since we got to rectify the situation in just a little bit. So, with that in mind, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We didn't do a whole bunch, but we did liberate Hungary. We saw Bulgaria sh greatly shrink, and uh, the Russians almost declared war on us. And we did. We do have a new colony in Austrian North Borneo. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here, and. Uh, do you think this is a core or not? Probably not. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, guys.